Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Uh, welcome to this uh, specific topic uh, on C programming and I am going to talk about uh, pointer and pointer arithmetic in this particular example, right? So what you see here is we have uh, an integer location or an integer A and then we can see that we have a pointer, right? So we have a pointer called P and other pointer Q. So they are all pointing to a integer, right? So this is what you see here. So you have A as a variable and then P and Q are pointers. So what we are doing here is we are making sure that uh, the pointer P is basically a uh, pointing to A, uh, which is an integer. And then we do a Q as P plus one, isn't it? Yeah. So I think many of you have guessed it right that we are doing basically some sort of, so some sort of pointer arithmetic, okay? To understand more clearly, we have to identify what should be the answer of this printer. Okay, so I think try to um, pause the video now, analyze the code, and then we will jump into the lab and try to see whether your analysis is correct with what you see in the lab. Right, so you should some you should have some answer ready for this printer. Once the answer is ready make sure that you know it is matching what I am explaining. Not only this, uh, in the lab, I am going to explain much more detail about, you know, this kind of uh, programming, okay, where we have to be understanding pointer and pointer arithmetic. So let's go into the lab exercise now. All right. So, Yeah, so we are going to talk about uh, the problem, right? So here is the problem. A star this, 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 okay. And uh, you will see this important thing, okay? So once you see this important thing, you should try to get the answer. So let me compile this code and then we'll run this code, right? So what you are seeing here is four. So some of you might expect it to be four and some of you might expect it to be a slightly different answer, right? Some, some of you might think it is a one, right? Now here we have to understand the important thing we have converted this Q pointer as an integer value and then P as an integer value. So we are doing basically an integer subtraction. So integer subtraction because as you know, when you talk about a pointer, right? Okay, so let's talk about a pointer. In this example on the pointer, you, you will be seeing, in this example on the pointer, uh, you will be seeing few important things, right? Uh, you will see that uh, pointer P is holding an address. So suppose let's say uh, P is uh, holding some address. Okay, so we will hold an address of say hexadecimal thousand, right? Suppose some value like this. So what does Q store? Q will be P plus one. Okay, so when you say P plus one, it is not necessarily going to be a 1001 okay so because of readability i am just uh, making sure and later i will put a comment okay so when you do like this people will assume that it is going to be this plus one okay so which is people will assume that it the answer can be 1001 right now this is not going to be true all the time okay because uh, it's a pointer so a pointer arithmetic says that we have to scale to the size of the pointer in the arithmetic we have to scale to the size of the data type right so since p and q when you see this right basically q is a pointer to an integer data type and size of integer is four bytes right basically so essentially it is not same it is basically if you really see the arithmetic it is this and then size of integer 
and then you can say multiplied by one okay because we are saying one here if we say two then it will be multiplied by two if we say ten then it is multiplied by ten because that is the meaning of scaling factor right basically so essentially uh, when you see the po pointer q basically right so when you say q uh, q is nothing but a value which is one zero zero four now right basically so it's a four size of integer is four right so that is that is what p and q are storing in this example so so the funny thing is when you do a q minus p right what we are doing is in this example when you do a q minus p a bare q minus p is a pointer arithmetic okay so there are two pointers the difference of that will be in terms of the number that you see which will be divided by the size of the data type also okay so q minus p is technically one because they are they are just apart by one integers right so a pointer is pointing to an integer so they are just apart by one integer but here what we have done here is here we say no this is not a pointer this is just an integral value if it is an integral value then the literal meaning is this is an integer and this is an integer so the difference of this 1004 and 1000 is obviously 4 right so you will see the difference like this 1000 and 1004 right basically so the difference is 4 actually but so let's change it a little bit right so we have to say that yes what the answer here so if i say if i don't do a type casting if i don't say that they are integer so in the in the real world when i say q minus p so we are now doing a difference between two pointers right so two pointer in integer pointers here right basically so the difference will be four byte in terms of the distance but these are pointer arithmetic so we have to divide divide by the size of the data type right basically so size of the data type is four so the difference is four four divided by four the answer will come back to one like this okay so you can see this is four and then this is one here right so we will we'll run the code now let me comment out my understanding and the explanation here okay so so suppose i say cc we compiled it and then you got the original value was 4 because we treated like an integer and then if it is not an integer if it is like a plain pointer right so the, the, the difference is still 4 bytes but pointers are not expressed in terms of the difference in bytes pointer arithmetic is expressed in terms of difference in the pointer type you know sizes actually right okay so not only the dis difference in terms of bytes divided by the size of the data type to which the pointer is pointing to right so that so the div, div will be 4 slash 4 which is 1 right so i think the summary here is to understand you know uh, that's a good thing because see when you do a lot of programming right basically we have to be very careful about our approaches toward this is a printer printf is not the only way you know to to see the differences my goal here was you have a pointer which is given to you in your function you have to understand it's a pointer and if you want to really play some arithmetic operations right in terms of integral values you have to be really careful you have to put it right basically so many times we when we do complex programming right basically we we interplay this because sometimes we want to deduce certain sizes certain memory requirements at that time yeah they are not just the difference or the addition right we have to be careful about uh, the the types where they are pointing to right so that is where this is coming from so i think uh, that's pretty much it on this particular example uh, i hope you understood this the the objective of this particular exercise okay so if you have any further query you can always you know uh, write in your comment section and i'll be glad to answer that thank you very much and i will see you in another video